but it's really, really different, like a new setting. And that day, I would say it was a long day. And when I walked in, I was in AMU and I walked in Bay 2 and it was really, really fast paced. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> how am I going to cope here, you know? But then it's, it's been great as, you know, as I've, you know, worked there and I've spent some time there. It's, it's like I'm getting used to it, you know. Yeah. And how did your ward staff help you settle in? Okay, so they placed me on, um, first of all, they did sort of like introduction, took me around the ward and told me what the ward uh, is about, what, where things are, where to find some things and then the kind of patient that are admitted there and where, where patients are being transferred to if they're not going to, they're not going home, you know, and then they placed me on supernumerary shifts for two weeks to um, sort of like work with um, more experienced people that are already there for long just to put me through and then uh, they made me feel really really um, confident about myself and um, supported me like if I have any questions if I had any doubts I just go up to them and they were really welcoming friendly and um, approachable you know knowledgeable about their work yeah a strange experience because uh, we are in a new country, new people and uh, the system is totally different what I experienced in, in India or oh, actually I have previous experience in Saudi, yeah, that also a different one. So, um, um, but um, with the help of uh, Sister Karen, our ward manager, current ward manager and uh, my colleagues, they have helped me to to learn the things and they put me uh, in a super numerous shift and uh, so I uh, just learned the routine things and yeah, I became adapted, yeah. Nerve-wracking, <laughs> shall I say, my first day. Because you, you won't really, you will try to be ready, you will try to be brave to face those new people that you will meet. And there's a diverse cultural background, diverse um, opinions that you will hear. But at the same time, I think, what I'm actually fortunate about um, is the was the support from the Filipino community within that unit. There's quite loads of Filipinos actually working in the renal unit, and because of their support, eh, I, I actually managed to integrate, adjust to the routine work, and I think it's it's still a it's still up to you. Whatever whatever environment, how supportive they are. If you are not gonna push yourself. It's not going to happen, yeah. isn't it? Yes. To be a nurse champion, um, I have explained before, I have come through the very hard process to be a position where I'm now. So I thought uh, it will be a g very great p uh, help for the upcoming cohorts. So I decided I can offer whatever help I can give and whatever support I can offer. So I just went to the new cohort as the um, trust members asked me to do. And uh, I was 100% happy to help them. And I offered all the help and, uh, and I shared all my knowledge, what I gained through my experience. And uh, finally, I came to this position as a nurse champion. That's not a, a position that I was intending for. It just happened spontaneously, you know. I want a bit more progression in my career. Like um, now I'm in rehab. So I want to learn more about stroke. So I discussed that matter with my manager. Like want to be, I, it's a, just a dream. <laughs> but uh, to assess the patients like the senior people do like uh, the stroke assessment stroke stroke plea polling nurse <laughs> it's a big dream uh, in in future stroke nurse <laughs> if it is possible yeah i just want to um i think i want to be an advanced practical advanced clinical nurse practitioner yeah and i want to go into specialty but I don't really know, you know, there are so many specialties in nursing, but I, I'm not really 
particularly picked one, but I know it's a medical unit. Um, uh, we need to continue learning and also the whatever the opportunity we get it from the um, ward or the place where we are working everything we need to utilize it especially the uh, training things continuous training uh, which we get it from the wards that is very essential uh, that will help us to um, do better when we are in the uh, department and also the uh, thing is that uh, we need to give our um, uh, the commitment which we have got that needs to be uh, practiced in the area where we are so uh, then we can I think we can achieve the uh, things as a nurse wherever we are yeah take the opportunity because there is an opening opportunity is now utilize that don't be fear take your step and someone will be there to look after us. So don't worry about anything. Go forward, dream and achieve that. Yeah, that's true. Like um, if you have a dream in your life, you should go for it. Like I also had a dream, but I don't know what is my dream. Sometimes I'm confused to achieve my goals. So now I can say, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Even if you are fearful, shy character, you can go for it, should come outside and try your level best. Then only you will find the real person in you, right? Have faith and believe in yourself. Because regardless how, why, what people will tell you, it's all going to be down to you. How, to, how determined you are, how focused you are, or how motivated you are. Regardless what other people say, it's going to be always down to you. So you have to continuously push yourself. Um, there will be a lot of challenges, but s progress is still a progress, how, how little it is. Um, and at the same time, um, pray. Pray is a big thing for me that actually helped me through to where I am now and what I am now.